use um, the same uh, risky calls here for disputes. So if I want to click on a dispute here, I can click on the dispute tab. This will tell me everybody who mentioned the word dispute on their call or, or gave such words as you set up with the team. So we set up certain words. I don't owe. Um, it wasn't that much. The bill is too high. I dispute because not all the time consumers are going to use the word dispute. So we've, we've given them many, many words that we wanted them to listen for to fall under this category. And what you do is once right here under the call link, you can pick to listen to one of the calls. That way you can address if the consumer disputed and then look at your system of record to make sure that they did the proper restrictions or status changes that you would have needed for that call. But the great thing about this is right here in the middle under call events, uh, because this is a demo, you may not see it, but under mine right here under call events, I can click directly on dispute. And then it'll go directly to the part of the call where the dispute is playing so that I don't have to listen to this whole five minute call to audit this account. I can jump directly to whatever the issue is that I'm trying to find. And that saves my team from having to listen to an entire call. So if somebody had a complaint um, or a dispute or a hardship, or they mentioned the word attorney general, um, any of those items will come up under this call event here, and it will jump you right to that part of the call where that takes place. So that's one of my best features here is not having to review the entire call to find what I'm looking for. Uh, you've already identified using Carvana that it's a dispute, but now I just need to look at my system of record to make sure that the agent followed all the proper procedures. And if you want to go back to the main tab there, Deepak. Yeah, so if you scroll down there in the middle to show all of the options, we 